We have a code 99 in North Chumash. Copy that, dispatch. Animals on the loose. Okay, we're heading southbound in U.S. Route 1. Just ran over a big old pack of cocaine. What is up everybody and welcome back for another effect. Welcome back to the channel. I really do appreciate you stopping back by. We're going to get started out here in Blaine County on patrol with some more Grand Theft Auto 5 police mod LSBDFR. And first I want to give a uh, really big shout out here. These are the list of people that actually shared the video. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, I had put a video out last week that had asked people to share the video through social media whether it's Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn Tumblr those kinds of things and then they came back and wrote the word shared in the comments so I uh, really do appreciate these guys right here that are on your screen and we're gonna get started out here in Blaine County and we're gonna be using a plug out call plug-in rather called Peter U callouts I've never used it actually so we're going to see how this turns out. So you get to experience this with me. Should be pretty cool. And I, I uh, promise you guys that we'd do some uh, different weather effects too. You know with some of the new mods that I've got installed. I've got a new visual mod. Okay, we have a uh, security guard out here that's uh, requesting a little bit of police presence. And yeah, we'll see if we can uh, go over here and assist this security guard. 3 Ocean 21, show me en route. Roger that. Okay, we're going to pull up on uh, scene here and see what the security guard needs. Okay, there's the security guard right here. Let's go ahead and talk to him and see what's going on. Okay, I am uh, so mad with this person right now. Okay, what's going on, man? They're out of a job here today. Tough luck. Uh, they're making a scene, stopping anyone from uh, getting anything done. We want them off the premises so that things can return to normal. Okay. So he's asking her to leave, basically. She says, I can't take it anymore. They fired me. They fired me. Oh, oh shit. Put, put that gun down right now. God dang, man. Shows you. That I told you I haven't done this call before. I suppose the security guard isn't shooting her right now. <laughs> hey, sometimes a benzo acts like a kid. I can help it. Okay, man. You go over here. And she almost shot him. Just gonna put her back in our unit. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and end the call out. Attention all unit. Code four. Ten four, copy that. That. There we go. Backup required for a suspect placed under arrest on um, 
Copy that, dispatch. Roger. Okay, there's the uh, pickup is coming real fast to pick her up. It's probably going to spawn in here in just a second. She's under arrest basically for obviously possession of a firearm and you know, could be even tempted murder. Since she was pointing it at the security guard. I'm surprised he didn't shoot her actually to be honest. Security guards are very uh, gun happy sometimes in this game. We got another uh, saddle alarm down here. Once again, we don't want to go lights and sirens on these. And the uh, suspect does not know the uh, alarm's been triggered, so I want to see if we can catch him this time. Okay, we're going to keep an eye on this area right here. Looks like it's this uh, residence. Ah, uh, guys, come on. Not a random event, man. Hope that didn't just scare away my uh, potential thief. Okay, there is somebody right there coming down the stairs. Let's go have a word with them real fast. Okay, hands up right there. I don't even know who you are yet. Okay. Let's see who this guy is. Looks like he had a sack over there. Officers report a suspect placed under arrest in Palato Bay. Suspect detained. Ten four. Alright, you get over here. Actually, let's get you over here. Why is he dressed like this? <laughs> okay. We're actually just going to go ahead and call him in. Backup needed for a suspect placed under arrest in Palato Bay. Copy that, dispatch. Animal you and your tuxedo sit down in the rain, all right? Okay, I'm coming to see what he's got over here. Looks like he has uh, a bag of some kind. Back containing many uh, identity documents. Okay. So he was definitely stealing something. Alright, sir, follow me back this way. Here's his ride right here. Alright, she's going to pick him up. Code 4, 10 8. 10 4. Okay. You're 10 8. Attention, all units. We have assistance required in uh, Palenco Forest. Okay, got another security guard that's asking for some assistance from the police. Units respond code two. We're going to be responding code 2 to this. We'll get to the scene and make contact with the uh, security guard. Sometimes there's a lot of drunk people out here in uh, Blaine County. We have a bar down here. That's probably where it's going to be at. Could 
be somebody like public and talks or something like that that's uh, trying to get into the bar and security guard is not letting him in he or she Looks like we've got ourselves a uh, gentleman right over here. Let's see what the uh, security guard has to say first. Okay. It's about time I showed up, yeah. Want well, this person off these premises, please? He says, I'm no genius, but it looks like they're on drugs or something. Whatever you can do to sort them out would be great. Alright. Yeah, let me talk to this guy right here, see what's going on. I think this is him. I'll try to want to get in trouble. Alright. Well, you're not in trouble yet. So let's just say for the sake of argument, I have a small quantity of drugs on me. Alright. What would I be looking at? Well, it depends on what the drugs are. It's a little baggie of marijuana or something. I don't, of course. This is just a hypothetical situation. Okay, well. <laughs> okay, man, you didn't have to run. Why did you run? Oh, man, the old man just fell down. Okay, get down. Get down. Security guard. It's all, all tough over here. Okay. No Code four. Attention all units. Okay, we're going to go ahead and just put him in the back of our um, back of my vehicle here. Okay, get in. Go ahead and get in, sir. Assistance required for a suspect placed under arrest in Palaiso Forest. Out of six, copy. We'll check it out. Yeah, normally I would uh, search him, but unfortunately I don't have pet search. And I think there might be a default one that might be in uh, Traffic Policer. Maybe you guys can help me uh, remember that. Hello. I cannot remember the uh, keystroke for that. And I'm too lazy to go back and look right now. <laughs> sure. Okay. I could have actually done a breathalyzer and a drug laser on it if I wanted to as well. But uh, he decided to run from me, so it's more, so you know, resisting arrest. I wasn't really going to arrest him just yet. Ah, come on, man. But he didn't give me a lot of choice on that. Yeah, I really need to get ped search and all that. I turn that car alarm go off. I was making sure no one's uh, just trying to steal it. Dispatch calling unit 3, Ocean 21. We have a traffic alert on... Um Great Ocean Highway for narcotics in transit. Okay, we have a uh, drug run. And yeah, there's a lot of drug runners that uh, like to come through Blaine County. We haven't had a really good drug run in a while, meaning a good chase. It's been a little while. But uh, if y'all ever go back and watch my videos, by the way, I've got a humongous playlist, guys. Like over 180 videos, literally, on a playlist that I put together for you. If you ever want to go back and watch some old videos, it's like freaking five days straight worth of uh, videos. 24 hours a day, five days straight. <laughs> it's crazy. Yep. 
You can get caught up on the Benzo show, right? Yeah, I've had a few people actually request that. That we put it in a uh, playlist format. But anyway, uh, well, I see you. That's right. That's like 50 points right there. Tagging me on the mountain line. But yeah, I've got some really epic uh, drug runs. You'll have to go check that out. Maybe I'll do a separate you know, video and just put put together like maybe a drug run episode and just edit it all together. I think that'd be kind of cool. Okay. I'll tell you what I'm going to do for you guys. You know how I operate with my channel. I like to uh, edit a little bit to help you guys out so you're not having to sit through the entire uh, episode for me trying to get to the drug runs. So, uh, give me one moment. We'll get there. Okay. We have a uh, drop right here in this. Uh, looks like a gauntlet. Yeah, sometimes it's uh, unavoidable. You gotta do a little bit of editing. And I think that kind of sets my channel apart from even some of the bigger name guys out there that do these kind of episodes. Uh, they don't really seem to edit as much as, uh, you know, my channel anyway. And I only edit it unless I feel like it, it needs to be done to make the uh, episodes run a little smoother for you guys. So I hope you appreciate the editing. I'm going to go ahead and pull him over. B08 George Sam John 395. Okay, he's registered to a Jamie Evans, couple citations. He's also flagged for a hit and run, and he's also known as a drug runner, so 321 request code 3 backup. There's a good chance he's probably going to try to take off on me, so I'm just going to... There he goes. And let me know, guys, if you would like to see maybe some dash cam uh, footage or some, through uh, some of my episodes. Be glad to do that for you guys. Okay, we're heading southbound in US Route 1. <laughs> Just ran over a big old pack of cocaine. So much quieter it got. It's the rain. Three Ocean 21 to dispatch. Show me in pursuit. Southbound US Route 1. Speeds excess of 80 miles an hour. Roger that. It's occupied two times. It's like maybe a female in the passenger seat. What I'm doing right now is marking evidence as I'm going down US Route 1. I've marked at least three so far. Make that four. Assistance required on um, Great Ocean Highway. The Buck Street. Trying to block him in a little bit. Oh, 
What are you doing, dumbass? Oh, you want some benzo? Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> okay, they've already got they got him, and then they got her back over there. They're arresting her as well. I'm gonna go back and get all the evidence, and then uh, we'll see these uh, little pieces of crap to gel. So uh, what I'm gonna do here is just kind of roll along and I'm gonna collect the evidence here. Alright guys, and then uh, what I'll do is I usually like to edit just a little bit so that you can just see me pick up the evidence and then we'll go to court. Okay, we're rolling up on another one here. Get out of here. Get down on the ground. You get on the ground too. <laughs> Couple of the rest here for being assholes. You too, dickhead. Yeah, they hit me from behind and then they uh, try to take a swing at an officer. Yeah, real smart guys. How about you have a seat? Both of you. Okay. Right there, we got some uh, cash right there. So they're going to go down for money laundering as well. Alright guys, you have a great day. Sit there in the rain, okay? And they're going to get arrested. We're just going to keep going. Alright, here's another package. Pretty obvious. Yeah, the more packages that I get, the more years they get in prison, so I'm trying to collect as many as I can find. Okay. Una mas. We're gonna get this package right here. That's a pretty decent drug run. I may have missed a few, but uh, we'll see how it turns out. Let's go to court. See how many years these guys get. Yeah, four pieces of evidence. That's pretty good. Driver Jamie Evans was found guilty of money laundering, resisting arrest, drug dealing. Yeah, medium scale. They'll probably get about 17 years. Oh, there you go. Look at that right there. <laughs> I swear I didn't look at the screen. Claudia Montero. She's found guilty pretty much the same thing. Medium scale. She'll probably get like 16 years. That's what I'm guessing. And money laundering. 11 years. Probably because uh, the other guy was the driver. I uh, missed one evidence. Not too bad. Yeah, when you're given uh when you're given vocal commands to dispatch. We are code four. No further units required. So when you're given vocal commands to dispatch uh and trying to uh mark the evidence and kinda talk to you guys at the same time, it gets a little bit hard sometimes to be honest. Okay guys, this is gonna go ahead and do the episode. I uh, hope you appreciate a little bit of the length of the episodes. I'm trying to make them just a little bit tiny bit longer for you. Uh, a lot of people made a comment saying that they really enjoyed having the uh, the videos a little bit longer. So I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you share the videos through the week, and I'll take notes. Till then, y'all take care. Have a great day. We'll see you next time on the Benzo Effect Channel, guys. Have a good one.